Good morning. So today, I want to tell you something that I ask God for. Because I notice a lot of people that our Israelites are going back. I guess they have been called for duty. So I do believe that a lot of them are descendants of the Maccabees. So if you read the book of Maccabees, you will see the accomplishments that they were able to do. Even though we have to take with a grain of salt what is going on right now. Because I keep on hearing order out of chaos. And I'm always wondering if they've been doing this for centuries. That they bring in the chaos and bring the order. I do believe this is um, like they mentioned 9-11. Like where was our intelligence, our FBI? The same thing I'm asking now. Where was the Mossad? Where was the Israeli intelligence? So something is not, it's not right. And I was listening to this because I asked God, what is the revelation? What's going on? Because it just sound like 9-11 again. And um, he mentioned this. So usually, you know, I'm on YouTube. So he showed me this pastor, but he's not from here. He's from Africa. And he was talking about it. Now I can't find him in all my subscriptions. So I'm going to have to come back and look to see what's going on. That I can't find him because I'm subscribed to him. I think. I'm not too sure. But yeah. So take everything with a grain of salt. Just pray for everybody on both sides. Because this is um, something that. I don't know if it has to do with Masons and Davos. I have no idea. Because um it's just too fishy everything that is going on and I know they were kibbutz in Israel but I had no idea they were so close to the border with Gaza and these are peace loving people it's like a self sustained um, community right and a lot of people from different countries come there to experience this so, and then I saw the Israeli border, and it just, even though it's electrified fence, they could get through that. So I'm thinking something is not right, you know. And um, for the most part, the ones that suffer are the innocent, whether it's on the, one side or the other. So pray for both sides and ask God for revelation, because I'm praying for both of them right now. And I'm thinking a lot of the stuff that they are doing, a lot of the people that live there, they don't want this. You know, they don't want this conflict because they know the repercussions of it. But a small, tiny group comes in and creates all this chaos, right? So pray. Don't just pray for Israelites, but pray. So, um, So yeah, I don't know. I don't like to be recorded either. I don't know what's up with that. Why I'm, am I being recorded? Because I already told Abba, you know, I kicked and screamed last year, but I already told him I'll do it. I have no choice in the matter. And um, it's not about me. So I already accepted my fate. And now I feel like my private moments are being recorded and I don't like it. My house, my, my closet that is like a tornado in there. And my closet is like no man's land. Like you go in there, you get lost. <laughs> it's a tiny place. But it's like a, like a different dimension. But I don't like it. I don't like it. I think it's wrong. Um, if a person doesn't want to do something because he has doubts, then bring it up to Abba and somebody else will be put in their place. Um, imagine me as a woman, right? As a man, man could have whatever woman they want and whatever they could have the power to do whatever. But as a woman, it's very different. But I trust Abba. I trust him and I say yes to everything. Um, maybe they embarrass of me, I have no idea. Um, I 
no clue because I haven't heard anything. Um, so that's what I'm thinking. Um, I'm getting a lot of videos about cheating. And I'm like, I never cheated in my life, not to my husband. So, who's the cheater? Right? So I'm like, oh God, help me. You know? Just once I finish everything, just take me home. Because I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's just very um, unsettling. Uh, well, that's pretty much, I just say to everybody to take things with a grain of salt. Because 9 11 happened, but then the surveillance came. So I'm thinking, what is this going to be about? Because this pastor was talking about the third temple and how they needed to make a way, uh, 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 need to pave the way, sorry, uh, for it to be built without any repercussions from you know, the ones who's going to oppose it. So pray, just keep on praying. Prayer is a big thing. When it's true, it could have been much worse. And um, I know what happened with atrocities, um, but it's prophecy too. So it's like sometimes you pray, but these things happen anyway. And it's because it's a upsetting because you say you scream to God and you cry and you say why I prayed about this and when this is what happened but I know he's very merciful and he probably took the lives of those children before they were even beheaded so you know to some I'll post whenever I find the, um, the video of this pastor and what he said God bless you guys